Hey, good morning, guys. Now, a four-year-old is still here at Stroger Hospital fighting for his life. His grandmother told us that they were on their way in her vehicle to go get a frozen drink when he was shot in the back of his back, well, in his back. Take a look at the scene from yesterday. You can see here police evidence markers were all on the ground where the shooting took place. It happened around 345 yesterday near the corner of Ketsy and North Avenues on the Humble Park neighborhood. Now, the four-year-old's grandmother told us she was driving him to get a treat in Icy. She says the bullet came through the back of her car and hit him in the side of his back before exiting through his stomach. She drove him to an area hospital where he was later transferred here to Stroger. Now, the four-year-old boy underwent a surgery yesterday. The last update received said that he was sedated but considered stabilized, still in critical condition. Investigators were back on the scene looking at multiple vehicles that appeared to have been hit by gunfire. The 26 Ward Alder person Jesse Fuentes' office is saying that police told them that occupants in a sedan were following an SUV at one point and opened fire on it, which led to that child's gunshot wound. Now, we did speak to people in the Humble Park neighborhood who heard the gunshots. They are telling us that the violence has been out of control for far too long. I don't feel safe. I live in the neighborhood, but I don't feel safe anywhere. Yeah. This is just crazy. I mean, I don't understand why guns are still as available as are right now. We really need gun controls in Chicago and it's actually in the whole state. It's, it's unbelievable that we still have to suffer this kind of violence in our city. Not all the person Jesse Fuentes did tell us that her office will be out speaking to residents in the neighborhood later on this morning. But police, they're still asking for your help. If you have any information that can help lead to an arrest, they want you to call them immediately. For now, we're live outside of Georgia Hospital on Glenn Marshall, WGN News. A man was shot.